It's happened again. It's happened again. I accidentally got told to participate in a tournament. I did not register for the tournament. I signed up as a backup to help out the Catan community. And then Carm, shout out to Carm in the comments. Go go give her some love. She said she'd comment on the videos. Asked me like, pretty, pretty, please, somebody backed out. We need a backup to be a full part tournament participant. Here I am playing the tournament. It's a 1v1 tournament. And I, as you can see here, have never played a single ranked 1v1 game ever. I've played two 1v1 games in my entire life, both against a viewer. I don't know how they went. I don't remember. I think I beat them once and they beat me once. But more importantly, I don't know the rules of the tournament. Don't quote me on any of this, but I don't... I think it's a best of three. We're doing one game over the next four weeks and then playoffs. I don't know how it works, but it's a 1v1 World Cup. There's also a fantasy league. And so, awkwardly enough, the person who I picked for my fantasy league for this group of bracket, I'm playing against. So I'm playing against my fantasy selector. So I win either way. Joke's on you, at least for the first round. That being said, I have a strategy for this tournament, and you're going to love this. You're going to enjoy this strategy so much. I wasn't planning on playing the tournament. I don't know how to play 1v1. My expectations are lower than the floor. They're underground. And what that means is my goal is not to win the games. My goal is to have fun. And I think the way to do that, and the only chance I have at possibly winning, because most of these players are top tier players, but also they also play a lot of 1v1. Obviously, they signed up for the tournament. The way to win is to, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say, we want to bring a level of psychological torture. And I would like to go in and bring in strategies, ideas, and concepts that have never been before seen in 1v1, which will be very interesting because I don't really know how 1v1 works. That being said, I'm trading. I'm going to be table talking. I'm going to be confusing them, and I'm going to try and make them make mistakes. We're going to be plowing. We're going to be trading. We're going to be doing table talk. We're going to be making deals for non-blocks in a 1v1. How does that even work? I don't know. Are they going to accept it? I don't know, but I'm going to get them thinking about that and not thinking about, oh, I should probably be going over to the 4 6 ten or whatever. And so that's going to be how it goes. My first game is now. Well, it's in like 40 minutes, but it's basically now. I'm going to take everything I've learned from these single player two sheep.io challenges, apply them to the 1v1 games. I haven't played any of them. I've watched two or three from, from DavBav. Shout out to DavBav if you're watching this. I, I'm learning from you. Uh, don't fail me now, coach, but we're going to go in with psychological torture. All right, we're about to start playing in the tournament. I figured I'd go over the rules really quickly. And when I'm talking about the rules, I'm not talking about the tournament rules. I'm talking about 1v1 rules because I don't actually know them that well. But you need 15 victory points to win. 15 and the discard limit is bumped up to 9. So if you roll a 7 and you have less 9 or less cards, you don't have to discard. But once you get to 10 or more, you have to discard. So we're going to want to be holding our cards a little bit more. The game is going to be very, very fast-paced. And we're playing in best of 3. So we need to win 2 out of the 3 games. I don't know how the victory points or anything works like that. So we're going to assume more points, more better. But overall, we're trying to get 2 out of 3 wins. And again, bring some psychological warfare, looking for that 15th victory point and trying to keep our hand a little bit larger than usual. We're going to see how it goes. See how it goes. Good luck me. Here we go. All righty. But just about to start our game with Poppy Chulo. They are not going to be in VC, so we're just going to be playing by ourselves. Don't have to worry about muting or any of that kind of stuff. But we're going to try and keep it interesting. They did counter my genius strategy of psychological warfare. So... Gonna give it our best shot. You guys can go check out Poppy Chulo. Their links are in the description. You can go check out their YouTube channel and they also stream on Twitch. So go follow them over on Twitch. I'll post both those down here and let's jump into the game. Good luck me. I did learn if it if you lose two in a row or win two in a row, you don't have to play a third game. So my hope is that I don't get smushed too hard. I think my chances are low. They, uh, Poppy Chulo, very, very, very talented Catan player, but uh, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. All right, here we go. Oh no, I'm playing. I'm placing first. Let's move the board over. I only have a minute, so I can't explain what's happening. I just need to look. We're seeing low wheat, and I think honestly we need production here. 
I see low wheat, medium ore. I need to think about what they're going to get on the way back. And my thought is this 596 is so good and roads are very helpful here. I can find wheat and ore on the way back. This is my instinct here. But if that's the case, and there's such low brick, they're going to get on the 4, 5, 11. They need to have some sort of brick. And I think somewhere on this 9 or 3 is going to be open. We're going to take this, and I'm going to point into the middle because I don't want to think too much, and I feel like giving Poppy Chulo a little bit more time to think is going to be an issue, even though I think the 4, 5, 11 is going to be available. Might be able to bump over to the 6, 3, 11. We're just going to go for it and have a great time here playing in the 1v1 championship. I don't know what's going on. We're we're going to try and psychological warfare, but it's going to be so fast. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm excited to throw up some non-blocks and throw him off of his game and uh, see what's going on. We're going to give a, a GL and a heart into the chat. Um, and and let's go from here. Where do we think? We know Hoppy is in, in, the, in the Dandy Drew team. We know that they have a, they're a Division One champion. Or not champion, but they've, they're playing... Some very high level Catan. Am I going to win any of these games? Definitely not. All right. We've got or open. I think somewhere down here is going to get smooshed. I think somewhere down here is going to get smooshed. We need to keep an eye out for free roads. Free roads are very helpful here. And so they might take the 693. Looking over at the wood, wood port over here which is when you take the wood port and plow to the 9102 and go crazy, man. That's the game plan. Ooh, they took the free road. So in that case, we just take... Do we just take the 493 and say, you know what? I think I need the ore here. Do I take the 843 and point up? 843 point up, we can get on the 3 and the 9 either way. We can build over to the wood port. We have the whole left side of the board. Do we take a free development card here? I think I think 843 point up is actually kind of interesting. What do I need here? We have a lot of wood. We have a little bit of wheat. We're going to try and double the wheat. We have a little bit of ore. We're going to try and double the ore. We have better brick than them. I think this is actually interesting. Let's go for it. Our first goal is to drop a road to the 4911. And we're going to kind of be playing pretty quickly. Hopefully I can keep up with the action. I'm not going to be commentating as best as I can. I'm going to be focusing. They they threw down to the three to one port right off the bat. By the way, we're playing friendly robber. I can't really friendly rob them over there, so we're just going to rob them over here. And uh, we're looking to do a little bit of nothing here. And we're going to kind of go fast here, hoping for some materials. Eight cards. All right. Let's place our road down here, 4911. And uh, we're going to pass once more. Okay, we got a six. We have to do something here. This might be a good time for a dev card. I think a dev card's smarter than a city here because we still have the settle in hand. We cannot get robbed from. We have a knight as backup. That's great news. And we have the settle. We're at eight cards. Let's hold for one more. You know what? Let's just go for it. We're just going to go production here. Let's zoom it. Boom. Perfect timing with the four. Give me some ore, buddy. And we're going to make some moves. Next goal. Let's not get stolen from. Let's go over to the three. We're going to go ore production here. We've got a ton of wheat coming through with the fours. Year of plenty. What'd they get? They got some wheat here. They're sitting up. We can start stealing from them. We're going to be probably blocking this nine pretty frequently. And I need to keep track of what they have. There's a nine. They've got ore in hand. Go for an ore non-block. Confuse them. They're going to get real confused. Uh, I'm going to give them a few seconds here. No DUI. All right. We've got to steal from their ore. We're going to we're going to upgrade our roads. Got to get at least one trade going. All right. We're going to start building around. And next move unclear. So when that's the case, let's hold. 
I think going up to the 11 3 4 is probably my next best bet. And then getting a 3 to 1 port or some sort of port here. So let's go up here and uh, and do nothing. We knew that they had ore in their hand, so that was kind of maybe a little bit lucky. I don't know. We're at 10. Plenty of wood. Let's trade for uh, an ore and just take a development card. We got a point. Look at me. I'm doing good. I'm, I've, I've got six points on the board. We're not doing terribly. We're going to... I don't need the brick. We're going to keep trading for ore and getting development cards here. I know it's expensive, but I'm an expensive boy. Look at this. Get traded on. What hurts them the most? Maybe the the wood doesn't hurt them. Let's trade. Let's block their ten huito. And how about a roll? Great news. I don't know what's going on here. We've got got some materials. Okay. Here we go. Four three eleven. Next move, we want to go to the three to one port, but which one? Which one do we want to go to? We have the ore port over here. Not useful. We have the 3 to 1 port over here. I'm stalling a little bit. I think maybe just the 3 to 1 port up here on the top. We're at 7 points. I can't believe it. I'm doing great. Let's block their, uh, I guess block their sheep. I don't, I kind of want my ore to come, come through now. They're blocking my wheat. That doesn't make any sense. I have double force. We got some brick. Up to nine points with longest road. I'm just gonna keep plopping some stuff down. We're at our three to one port, not too worried about it. Don't need the ore. I think the ore is gonna help them the most. Let's get an ore for a wheat trade. Might even be able to go ore sheep for a wheat. Give them something psycho. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Oh, it's so fun. They don't know what they signed up for. All right. We're going to move this back over here. We're at 11 points. Oh, we need to roll first. The 10. Um, Let's just take a wheat. Let's take another development card. How about a second point? We're up to 12. How about this? Two sheep for a wood. I got to get at least one trade going on. How about an X? Okay, very funny. Let's just take another development card. We've got a defensive knight. Great news. We can keep defending army. Moving along, trying to... We have one, two, three, four. We do need to upgrade at some point. Let's try this. Try a wheat non-block. For two sheep. Zero. All right. Try uh, Psychological warfare coming in. <laughs> I'll move it off your doubled up nine or Gotta get at least one trade. We're gonna keep going for him. We're gonna keep going for him. I'm gonna put this down here. And now he's gonna be like, oh, he didn't use a knight. Uh just joking. We're gonna we're gonna knight it up. Let's put it on the uh on the wood here. Got to get a trade going on. So we have three. I think we just need to get some ore here. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold. <laughs> Got to get the content. We're trying to get some goofy stuff here. So. Got a little bit of nothing. Let's hold one more. We still need to upgrade something. What's our because we don't have anything. I mean, we're crushing it, but you can't you can't resign. I can't believe I won a game. Very pleased. Production's the way to go. Or non block. Let's get a trade going on. I'll throw it over on the twelve. How about something like this? Dang it. 
I think we just need to take a development card here. Road Builder, very goofy. Can't do much with it. Definitely can't do much. We need to get, there we go. The threes coming through. Um, was there a 10 that got rolled? Do you have a wheat? Zero, okay. Let's take a wheat here. And I'm gonna hold, because we need to get a city at some point. There's the 10. Might be able to trade now. Let's get a trade going. Oh, you know you want to trade that. Why can't I do this? Invalid trade ratios. I can't do a 3 to 1 because I have... I don't understand. Oh. Let's try this. I don't have time. We got to upgrade this down there. I'm dumb. I was trying to trade with the bank. What gets me a win? I guess the blocked four doesn't really help at all. And how do we get longest road back with our road builder here? Um... Knight is great. We need to keep getting dev cards. One, two, one, two, three, four, five gets me there. I have three, but I need to get that last point. Wait, I have a settle. So, can I just do this? Let's just take the 510. And then we just need to get road. GG. All right, and then we need to do a screenshot here. So we're going to pull up snipping tool. We're going to hit no or new. Turn one. Very fast. It looks like it's all the same stuff. We go again. GL. How about a heart? All right, now they're going first this time. We pulled up Snipping Tool. I think I probably have dosed my, like, doxed myself. We'll cut that all out. Game two, game two. We're up 1-0. I won a game. Are you psychos? I'm a psycho. Let's look at, let's look what we're looking for. We need to, we only have a minute here. We need to just think about it. I'm going to actually type in HF because he didn't, he didn't do the, the HF meta. So what we need, I mean, the five brick. We're looking at this five brick here. It's very, very important. The five brick, we have the five eight three, we have the five six ten, we have the five six eleven, we have the five four eleven. All of those are good. What do we pair with the brick? I mean, I like the five eight three five nine ten. I like the five five six eleven. Uh maybe let's go crazy or wheat. Where's a good port down here? I like the five six ten is like such a good first pick. Oh my god, he sees what I see. So we're looking at our free road here, and then we need ore and wheat. Ore and wheat. So let's go crazy here. We can get ore wheat over here down to the wheat port. And we can go 853 up. And then what do you get? You need ore. You need wheat and sheep. You're just going to screw me over there. So let's, let's kind of block off the wheat and sheep then. Let's say if we need that, let's take our free road here. And then can we build up? Because I don't think you want to silo yourself down here. What do I what do I pair with this? Where's the wood port? Down here. All right, we're going we're going psycho here. We're going psycho here. We're going you to the right. We're going you to the left. I'm wood porting it up. 8 10 10 9 942. You get the 643 anyways. You get all this space over here. Don't need it, don't want it. We're going psycho. I'm going to the wood port. We need to keep an eye on what's happening here. Yep, we knew that was happening. We knew that he is a crazy uh, uh, or we cheat player. So this is going to be really interesting. I think the best move... Or do we need to restart?
All right, we're gonna pause. We're not we're not scamming anyone, but let's see how we can do. I love my road building. There's not a lot of brick. If we can get there, my first goal is actually to get to this eleven five four. So if another five rolls, that's gonna be my first first move. Pointing to the right here, I think was actually a pretty critical mistake. But we also can't get plowed. And so if a five rolls, I think I need to place this down. I can't get, I can't lose the wood port. Uh, oh, it's friendly. Yeah, we're smart. We we know what we're doing. We're pro katanners over here. Let's try this. I'm trying it. Trying an anytime non block, and the, oh my god, we got the wood port. Great news. Great. Look at this. We're making crazy deals. How many deals have you seen for a non block in, in a in a game? Now I'm blockable. That's okay. We need two brick here. We're moving around. We're going up here. And you got a non-block whenever you want during the game. How many times have you seen an anytime redeemable non-block? I don't know. We're, it's, we were making up things here. We're playing. We're having a good time. We've got the wood. The wood's coming in strong. We need a few more things before we can do anything. But this 11.54 is going to be so helpful. The 5 is going to be crazy. Perfect. Don't need the ore. Brick. I think we have the wheat sheep here. Three would be juicy. Let's go wheat sheep. Give me a little bit of ore. Give me a little bit of wheat. Moving around. Next goal I think might be the, uh, hmm, maybe the three, nine, 11. I've, I've done terrible on my roads. I'm trying to figure out where we're going. I think we do need to upgrade something also. Maybe the 853 is pretty good. Do you want it now? Okay, I didn't see anything. Okay. I'm going to say I'm going to give you a few seconds each seven to kind of claim it. Any, I mean, we're close to a city here. Don't steal the, uh, how about you steal a brick? The brick actually is kind of helpful. And that that's fine, I suppose. Can we ever get over to the 11-6 before them? One two, three, and a settle is going to be really tough. Let's try this. <laughs> okay, moving along. The four hurts me. That's fine. Good block by them. Doing some goofy deals here, trying to make things work. We're going to upgrade the 853. Give me a little bit more wood. Give me a little bit more brick. Some people might be like, you should upgrade more wood over here. I don't think so. But we're hanging in there. As long as I'm not getting too smushed. Um, 
Yeah, let's defend ourselves here. And I, I kind of want to try and come up here. This is going to be really weird. Let's just take another dev card. I don't really care about the four. I think the four hurts them more than it hurts me. Give it a second. If they're not worried about that, I'm going to put it on the six. All right, they claim their non-block. And then I'm going to knight them immediately. <laughs> I think that's fair. They got they got me to spend a knight. So we can go one. Let's put this down and then we can math out where we need to go because if we can get the 11 3 I need two brick a wheat and a sheep before because they might not be able to get the 611 and that'd be really funny just to kind of block them they got there okay that's okay a one wood or okay we have it in hand 9 3 11 is going to be helpful Do I have enough settlements? I think so. I have two. All right, we're on the 11. We're on, we got the nine doubled up. How do we get more stuff moving around? Let's take a development card. Never hurts. We have army potential. Can't have it there. We're gonna keep blocking their ore. We're looking for another city is kind of our next goal here. Try something like this. <laughs> Never going through, but... <laughs> <you know. laughs> I'll take another city. Now we can city the 5, 9, 10. I, it may actually be worthwhile sitting the 9 3 11 just to get a little bit more wheat production, but I think the wood's actually just super strong here. 8 3 10 is going to be coming up at some point in the future. We have two open settles, no victory points yet. They're going to be catching up on devs, so this is not. We're not going to hold army long term, and they're going to start knighting us like psychos, as, as expected. But the 5 isn't getting hit here. Zero cards. I'm going to kind of hold on. Hang on to it for a little bit. Not worry about the nine. We need to win fast here. And so our plan is have fun. We're doing pretty good at that. I've already won a game, which is better than expectations. Ouchie on the nine. Let's block the six. One more sheep gets us another city. Great. I think we're actually just going to bump over to this 8-3 here and do a little bit of holding here. Try and just get some more materials. Maybe go up to the 3-1 to one and wrap around. Kind of lock down road. Well, I think we already have road locked down because they can't really do anything about it. That is the settle. Does the settle help me that much? Okay, that's not the settle. They took the wood. Where are they going? What a crazy game. I've got 11 points. Okay, I don't think I have 11 points for very much longer, but I still have 9 points. Oh my god. The most expensive city you've ever seen in a 1v1? Let's put it on the uh, let's put it on the nine over here. Yeah, get a little bit more wheat. I think I think Poppy Chulo is coming back on this one. Uh oh. All right, we need to get a settle. Okay. 
no cards are rolling, but now now they're going to start knighting and catching up. That's fine. Great. Are they going to get... I don't think they're going to be able to plow it. So I'm kind of stuck. 11's going psycho. Great news. They got the plow. Very funny. Okay, we've we've been plowed. So what's our game plan then? Um And they have road and they're about to take army. I think I need to do something here. I just don't know what it is. I'm just gonna hold at nine. I don't know what's going on. I have a feeling that this isn't gonna go well for me. They're gonna take army. Okay, they got a brick. I don't think they can plow to the 810. And if they do, who cares? Oh my god, the blocks are insane. They did not take army yet. Do you think I'm going to city up the 810 down here? Okay. I got all my ore taken from me. Thinking about where we can actually go. Like, what do, what do I do here? Kind of stuck. Good, good, good effort here. Good effort here. GG. I'm going to go for a, a snipping tool. Let's get this guy going. Okay, game three. Didn't think it was going to be going this late. Didn't think it was going to be going this late. Here we go. Place in second. I don't think I moved the board over for that other one. Okay, not a, not a desert in the middle. We know he likes ore wheat sheep, so maybe we put him uncomfortable and lock him out of ore wheat sheep. But I like just getting pure production here. And we love building around. It didn't really work out for us last game, but it did work out for us the first game. The thing is, the ore wheat and sheep are all kind of distributed. 6, 9, 3, 4, 5, 10. Very interesting. 6, 9, 3, 8, 3, 10. I love just the aggressive wheat over here. The other thing we can look at, there's a lot of brick. We do have brick port down here. We could do something. We're, we're placing second down to brick port. We can do something like 4, 8, 10, 5, 9, 10. Kind of build up around this area. You can just kind of play down at the bottom and maneuver around. It might be kind of tricky, but um, can use the brick here. I think giving him ore wheat sheep is going to make it so diversified and... There's not enough wood to really support that, and the brick is very blockable. I don't like that as a full strategy here, but we're never going to have more ore than he will. So the 5, 9, 10 is very interesting that we just need wheat and sheep. There's just no good wheat and sheep up here, which leads me to believe... Hmm. What about 5, 9, 10, 8, 3, 4? He takes 6, 9, 3... Or, or something up here. We can build over to the 4, 9. We can go 5, 9, 10 to the right to get more wood and the 3 to 1 point. We can take the 8, 3, 4 to go up to the 4, 9, 11. That's very interesting. Get a little bit more wheat. I'm just saying this is my third, I guess like third ever 1v1, all the boards feel easy. <laughs> like, seems like I got so much production. Oh, okay. So we have this 369 then. That's even better. Kind of crazy. Let's see how we can do. We just need basically one, three, a few roads. I think I'm in a good spot here. I like this. Six, nine, three. Great. We got an eight. Um, I think we're going to put you up here. Got our sheep. We need a three and a nine. There's the nine. Just need a three. Might be able to trade brick for wheat. Give it a shot. Brick for wheat. Oh, he's thinking about it. Huh. 
How about that? We're, we're getting counters. How many times have you seen a counter off? Oh my God, we're getting trades going. Let's go. Let's go. Potential for the city. We're at nine cards. That's okay. Giving him the settle early on. Giving me the city on the five, nine, ten. And we're going to build our road over here just to plop it down. Can't get stolen from. Dude, I love the trades here. I was told that you're never going to get trades. And uh, do we plop down the three to one? Or is there anywhere we can like plow him? He kind of has the whole top of the board. We could we could put two roads down to the six, twelve, eleven, and it doesn't really hurt us that badly. Maybe even build up to the six, four, eleven. Let's uh, let's hit him where it hurts, the sheep, no, the wheat. Oh, we got a wheat, even better. So I think we just need to take the six, nine, three. We're, we've got a little bit more wood. We've got all the materials we need. We have our wheat now coming through. The threes are even super clutch. I think I actually want to try and get up to this 4, 6, 11. As crazy as that sounds. So we're going to hold here. Smelling a night. Perfect. We're going to, we're going to plop it down. Let's plop you down. And let's hang on to it for a second. Let's hang on to it for a second. I'm not so worried about, we need, we need to get a 4 and then a brick. And I don't think he's going to beat me there. Okay, that counts. How about a sheep? I'm feeling pleased. City it up. It's fine. We're going to get onto the 6-4. We're going to get more wheat. We're going to get a little bit more ore. Um, You know what? Give me the brick. We have wheat coming through. We have wheat coming through. Seven out. Brutal. We have wheat coming through. We're looking to get on the four, six, eleven. We just need an eight or ten, which are pretty common, and then a four. And we're not going to get a lot of sheep, but we will get down to the to the brick port pretty soon. We go brick over here. We can go the eight, ten by itself. Maybe even if we do it in the correct order, we can uh we can kind of trade around for for materials that we need. We're just looking for a three. Let's pass. We've got it in hand. Not trading here. Maybe. Let's roll here. Not keep him waiting too long. Say, say we're excited for the day he offers the trade first. All right, next goal. Eight brick port. Eight brick port is our next goal. Nine would get us there. Oh my god, he did it. Um, I want a wheat. I can't do that. I, I, I can't. My brain's not thinking. Sheep, brick. Oh, too slow. Sheep, brick for two or We can do something like that. This smells like a mono. But we got him. To, we're, we know we're in his head. Let's try something like this. A three for two. I smell a mono. Done. Done. Cheap for ore. Boom. Of course. Easy peasy. <laughs> I smell the mono. <laughs> Alright, we've got our brick port over here. How about give me a city? Uh, maybe let's city this guy. We probably should have cityed the ore if I was thinking a little bit smarter. But that's fine. I don't know what's going on. And we can kind of keep building around, but we don't need to right now. Let's let's hang on. We might get some good trades. You never know. Proven to to be on the edge. We have road here. I mean, road is pretty clear. I think we're going to take a development card. Road builder. Quite possibly the worst development card for me. So 
so let's just use it. No need to make him worried. We're not playing that type of psychological warfare. We're just going to say, I've got road and you can't do anything about it. Na 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 boo boo. Maybe we can build up to the three, four, get a little bit of sheep because we have one, two, three, and we have four five roads left. Three, four gets me there. We can take the three, four. Or we can just take the city over here. We've got a lot of cities. I have 12 points. What's happening? Give me dev cards. How about a road builder and a, and a free cards? So we just got to connect. I think. I don't have any more cities. So let's take another dev card before anything crazy happens. A knight. We might be able to get army here, as psycho as that sounds. No, I, I don't think we can. Um, hit him on the wheat. Just really lock up road. Don't even give him hope. Don't even give him hope. All right, put it back on that 11. Um, okay, we've got a point. We have three open settles. I'm stupid. I didn't build any of my spots. Okay, we have three open roads, so we need to use those effectively. We've got one, two, three. I need to be smart about this. Take a development card. And so, do I not have a three to one port? No, so let's take a three to one port next. I maybe should have used a knight there. Because we need, we need two of them, right? Just keep confusing them. Um, I really don't want to trade for bricks, so we're just going to take a development card. Okay. We're, we got there. We've got two points. G, G. We just need to build a settlement. Perfect. I think, I think we got there. I think I, I think I win. I think I win. Psychological warfare for the, for the victory. Trade for a sheep. We just need a brick. We need a, a something. We need an anything. I think I got this. Okay, we lost all the wheat. That's fine. Uh, we can still win with a few rolls. 10 gets us the win. And nothing is really blockable because we have so much. Let's block the six actually. Oops. Oh, I don't have the three to one port. Never mind. No port yet. Get him confused. Took the wood. I think that's GG. If he doesn't take road, I think it's GG. He might take road, but I can take it back. Or another three gets me there. Or another ten, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, I think uh I think that's GG. I'm gonna place this down here. Boom! But I, I won, I won. Snipping tool? Where's my snipping tool? Alright, let's oh, I've opened mail. Uh oh. I'm too excited. I don't know what I'm clicking. Let's let's Highlight. Boom. Ruining my fantasy points. <laughs> We're going home. We're gonna... I, I won. What the heck? What the heck? Alright, see ya. See ya. Oh my god.